Of course, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you pause the video, try the question on your own first before listening on. In order to determine the temperature that aluminum will have a resistivity that is three times the resistivity of copper at room temperature, we're going to be using the following equation. Now, this Greek letter rho with a subscript zero is the resistivity at some reference temperature. So we've written that down on the side here. The T with the subscript zero is the reference temperature, which is usually taken to be 20 degrees Celsius. The temperature without a subscript is actually the temperature that we are looking for. So this is the unknown temperature that aluminum will have a resistivity that is three times that of copper. And then we have this alpha value, which is a temperature coefficient of resistivity. And the alpha value, along with the resistivity at the reference temperature, those are values that are obtained from a table. So let's take a look at that table. For example, for copper, if we wished to, we could look up its resistivity at the reference temperature. In other words, we could look up this value right here. And we can see that copper has a resistivity at 20 degrees Celsius of 1.7 times 10 to the negative eighth. Now this question wants aluminum to have a resistivity that is three times the resistivity of copper at room temperature. So in other words, the resistivity for aluminum is going to equal three times the resistivity of copper. So we're going to take this value for copper and we're basically going to multiply it by three. Notice the unit of the resistivity is ohm meters. So we'll take out our calculators and we'll basically multiply here and we'll get 5.1 times 10 to the negative eighth ohm meters. So this is the resistivity value that we're going to be using for aluminum. That's going to get plugged in right here. As for the reference resistivity, that for aluminum is simply this value right here. So we know that the resistivity at the reference temperature for aluminum is 2.82 times 10 to the negative eighth. And again, that's in ohm meters. So we have this value and this value that we've boxed in. We also have the alpha value, the temperature coefficient of resistivity for aluminum, that has a value of 3.9 times 10 to the minus three inverse degrees Celsius. So we're gonna write down that alpha for aluminum is 3.9 times 10 to the minus three degrees Celsius raised to the negative one. So we have that value as well. And then the reference temperature, T0, as we noted earlier, is 20 degrees Celsius. So we actually have all of the values we need to solve for this temperature that we've highlighted in green here. So let's take another look at the equation and see if we can rearrange it to solve for T. So here is the equation, and once again, we're trying to solve for T. So the first thing we'll have to do, since we have a multiplication by this resistivity subscript zero, we have to divide both sides of the equation by that value. And that will cancel it out on the right-hand side. So now we have the resistivity over the reference resistivity is equal to, now these brackets can drop out because we've removed that resistivity uh, subscript zero value. So we have one plus alpha T minus T naught. We should next subtract one from both sides of this equation. So now we have the following. This will just be minus one on the side here equals alpha times this quantity. We're almost there. Let's divide both sides of the equation by alpha. So then these alphas cancel out probably easier if we at this point just copy and paste. So let's copy this quantity, whoops, and then paste it down here. So now we have the following, and then finally to solve for the T without the subscript, we're going to add this T0 value to both sides. 
so it'll cancel out on the right hand side and this will give us the following expression for the temperature that we seek. Now remember we have all the values uh, required to plug in to solve for t so we're going to go ahead and do so. We'll come back up here perhaps why don't we just copy them and paste them all down below so we can refer to them. We'll see if this works. And then it's just a matter of plugging in. There they are. All right, there we go. So we're going to come over here just because we have more room. So T equals the resistivity of a aluminum that we found earlier when we multiplied the coppers by three. We're going to divide this by the reference resistivity of aluminum, 2.82 times 10 to the minus eighth. Subtract that from one. We'll divide that quantity by alpha. And then finally on the side here, we're going to add 20 to that. And that might look a little sloppy, so why don't we just put the plus 20 more prominently over there. Little calculation tip here, these 10 to the negative eighths can actually cancel out since they're the same. So we'll divide 5.1 by 2.82, then subtract one, then divide by this quantity. You might want to put that in parentheses on your calculator to avoid any calculation error. And then finally add 20 to that. And we can see that the temperature at which aluminum has a resistivity that is three times that of copper is 227 degrees Celsius.